Hi everyone, how are you? I'm actually in our classroom today to record our math lesson for um, Thursday slash Friday. So take a look around. There's our classroom. I miss that we're not here, so hopefully next week we will be back together again. We'll have to see what happens. All right, so we're gonna do our math lesson. Let's start with our um, counting first. So first thing that I want you to do is I want you to open your mouth and see if you can count to 10, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That was a little awkward, wasn't it? All right, let's try blinking our eyes 10 times and counting to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. How about head up and down 10 times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, let's go ahead and clap our hands 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let's reach up to the sky 10 times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's pretend like we're swimming in the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's pretend like you're a queen and you're waving to everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one last one to count to ten. You're blowing kisses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. See, we did that all sitting down instead of having to stand up, so that was pretty good. I like that we can do it both ways, right? When we're in the class, we can stand up or we can sit down, but since you're at home, I figured it would be great just to stay sitting in your seat. Okay, next one we're going to do is just like we did earlier in the week, and we're going to count to 20. So since we can't count around the room, we're going to count back and forth. And last time I gave you a hint and I whispered the number to you. This time I'm going to wait, and hopefully you're going to say the right number. All right, so I'm going to start first. One, three, five, seven, nine. 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20 is what you should have said. Great job. How about this time you start counting with one first and then I'll go. All right, ready? Remember you're starting, go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 18, 20. We made it again to 20. Nice job. All right. Let's see. Here's a word story for you. Let's see if you can figure this one out. I saw two vans and four trucks out on the road. How many vehicles did I see in all? Hmm. We have four plus two more. Did you say six? That would be right. Four plus two more is six. Good job. Here's another one. I ate two chocolate chip cookies, and then I ate the same number of oatmeal cookies. So how many cookies did I eat in all? I ate two chocolate chip cookies, and I ate the same number of oatmeal. So how many oatmeal would have I had to eat? Two, right? So how many cookies did I eat in all? That would be four. Good job. Made your brain think, huh? Okay. Let's do some quick drills by looking at some 10 frames. And I'm gonna show you a 10 frame and I want you to tell me the number of dots that you see on the 10 frame. All right, I'm gonna try and trick you, so make sure you're looking very carefully. How many dots do you see? Remember, this 10 frame isn't filled all the way up. The 5 frame isn't filled all the way up at the bottom. So how many do you see? Did you say 6? Good job. Let me move this down here. All right, here's an easy one. How many do you see? 2. How many do you see? 4. Oh, here's a tough one. How many do you see? 
five. Oh, this one you might have to count. How many do you see? Did you say eight? Good job. Did you see my friend that just came over next to me? That's right, it was Bowie. He's here sharing our classroom today, walking around our classroom, checking it out. How many do you see here? Three plus three more, six. Good job. Oh, here's an easy one. You shouldn't even have to think about it. How many? Ten, right? Right away you can see all, both five frames are filled. All of the dots are here on the ten frame. Ten. How many? Seven. Good job. How many do you see? Easy. One. Nice. How many? If there's 10 when it's all full and one's missing, what's the number before 10? Nine. Hopefully your brain thought that way. Two plus one more, three. Last one, how many do you see? Three again, good job. You guys are great with those. Let's take a look at some gumballs. I want you to tell me how many green gumballs do you see? Two. How many purple gumballs do you see? Three. How many orange gumballs do you see? Two. All right. How many yellow gumballs do you see? Four. Good. How many blue gumballs do you see? Four again. Good job. This one's a little different. How many total gumballs do you see? Three. Nice. How many total gumballs do you see here? Three and three more. Six. Good. Last one. How many total gumballs do you see? It almost looks like a clown face, doesn't it? Five is how many you should have sell. All right. You guys are doing great. Okay. I have a number line here, and it has 1 through 10, okay? And I am going to cover up a number, and I want you to tell me which number is missing. All right, so it's 1 through 10. You ready? What number is missing? Did you say 7? Whoops, good job. All right, let's do it again. What number is missing? Four. Great job. What number is missing? A little tricky. Did you say one? Good job. All right, one more. What number is missing? Did you say nine? Nice job, my friends. All right. Go ahead and get your dry erase board. I have the real dry erase board. You should have your plastic sheet with the white paper in it and your dry erase marker just like the last time good job Bowie let me show you Bowie's here to say hey hey Bowie Bowie's here in the classroom huh Bowie are you gonna do some math with us <laughs> Bowie's ready to go he's been a good listener all day today yeah oh now he's on the table yeah Bowie that's you all right so let's get our dry erase board and I'm gonna first start off by giving you a couple of numbers to write for me. So the first number I want you to write is a five, because we're practicing our numbers. The first number I want you to write is a five. Let's hope you all made a five just like this. Good job. You don't need to erase your board, or you can if you want. Let's write the number six, or let's do seven, number seven. Good job, did you write a seven like this? Perfect. Let's write the number three. Three. There's my three. <coughs> oh, goodness. Let's write the number one. That should be easy. 
1. Great. Let's write a tricky number. Let's write the number 8. Eight. Great. Last one. Let's write the number zero. Perfect. The number zero. All right. Go ahead and erase your boards. Now the last time that we met, we talked about what number came after a number. This time I want you to think about a number that comes before a number. So if I said to you, what number comes before two? What number comes before two? Write it on your board. You should have written one, right? One, two, perfect. What number comes before five? What's the number that comes right before five? Did you write four? That's the answer. Four comes before five, four, five. What number comes before 10? What number comes before 10? Did you write nine? Great job, nine comes before 10. Great. What number comes before six? What's the number that comes right before six? Five comes before six. Let's do one more. What number comes before, let's see, eight. What number comes before eight? Seven. That number comes before eight. Great job. Go ahead and erase your board. It's okay, Bowie. Go ahead and erase your board. All right, so this one, I'm gonna give you two numbers, and I want you to think of the number that's missing. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I had, what number comes next? What number's missing from those three numbers together? Eight, nine, is that what you think? That's right, 10, good job. Let's do another one. What comes after this number? We have six, seven, eight, great job. All right, now I'm gonna get a little trickier. Let's see. And you don't have to write all these out. You can write just the one answer out, or you can just say it out loud. You don't have to write it on your dry erase board. It's up to you. Okay. What if I had... What number's missing in that sequence? You have six, blank, eight. What number's between six and eight? Did you say seven? Good job if you did, because that's right. How about, seven, eight, nine, eight goes in the middle there. Eight goes in the middle there. We have seven, eight, nine. All right, let me erase my boards. Let's see if we can get a little bit tougher. Let's see. Oh, let's see if you can do these. Um, all right, so we have blank, nine, 10. What comes before nine in that pattern? Did you say eight? You're right. How about... What comes before the five? Did you say this number? Let's see. Four, five, 
six. Good job. Hopefully you said that number. All right. One last one. Come here, Bowie. Come here. Come sit right here. Sit. Sit. Sit, please. We'll do one last one. Um, okay. This one's in the middle. Let's see. What number comes in between there? Eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. You did a great job. Go ahead and erase your board. One last thing that we're going to do for this lesson is I want you to tell me, this is called counting on. So if I'm counting, I want you to tell me the number that comes next. All right? Four, five. Come here, Bowie. Come here. Four, five. Did you say six? Good job. How about seven, eight, nine? Good job. How about one, two, three? Good job. How about two, three? Come here. Two, three, four. Good job. How about five, six, seven? Good job. All right. You're doing great. What about kind of like when we do the whoopsie game and I say uh, one, two, whoopsie, four. What number's missing? Three. Three, four, whoopsie, seven. Oh, that's not right. Three, four, whoopsie, six. What number's there? Five, good. Last one, nine, 10, whoopsie, 12. Ooh, I got a little tricky on that one. 11, all right, good job. All right, I think you guys did a great job today. You can go ahead and practice writing your numbers some more. This is now completed our unit three in our math, so you should be able to write your numbers from one to 10 pretty nicely, so you can practice that. You can continue to practice that on your whiteboard. And being able to count up to 10, you should know that all automatically, all on your own. So that is um, unit three. When we get back to school, we will be starting unit four, which is great. And I think that's it. I'm going to attach a video, another video, a book called, where's my book? 10, 10 Trim the Treers for Christmas. So you can take a listen to that read aloud as well from my reading channel, and it's all about counting. Count your way to the holidays with 10 little neighbors trimming a tree. All right, friends, thanks for coming to visit me, and I'll see you soon. I hope I see you soon. Bye.